Well, good morning. I'm down here today. It's grey. It's a bit cooler than it was. I'm probably going to get rained on. The very least I need to do is water in the greenhouse. But on top of that, I need to tie in some of these squash plants. I need to prune some tomatoes. There's tidying that needs to be done, weeding. So there's plenty to do, but let's see how long I spend down here. So I know I've come down here to water the greenhouse. But I've just realised in the greenhouse I've got a couple of really good sized cucumbers. So I'm going to pick them. Look at that. It's a lovely sized cucumber. And there is another one behind there. There's also another one on the floor down there. I wonder. Well, that's melons, melons, and melons. So that's, that's the cucumbers in here. So yes, it's working. So this is the uh, smallest, lowest one. I thought I should cut it off because you know how, you know, the slugs and stuff will get to it. But yeah, wow. There's at least three other large ones there. I think I will cut them closer to when I leave so that they're fresher. But yeah, definitely got some work to do. I discovered this uh, sunflower has been knocked over and it's split. It's a shame because it was the biggest one in this row. Oh well, maybe I can try and tie it up and see if it survives, but I doubt it. Well, it might not look the prettiest. I don't know, I think it could have done with a bit more water. It's quite edible. It makes a nice snack on the pot. In the last two years, I've really struggled with growing cucumbers. So I'm really happy that this is uh, doing well. Who cares if it's not sunny? As long as you get the crops. I have just had a close look at my plum tree and it's got a bit of an infestation. Let me show you. My plum tree and I thought what are all those spots on it? And if you look closely, especially on here, green aphids. The tree is covered in them. They are crawling all over the stem. So I think all these dots on these bins are dead aphids. So the ladybugs need to come and save my tree because that doesn't look healthy. What bugs do you have to uh, contend with? Okay, over here I need to tie in the um, squash plants because they're kind of doing their own thing and going here, there and everywhere. So I've trailed that up but I haven't tied it in yet. Hopefully it'll work. So I've finished weeding and tying in the squash beds. Now I need to go and prune in the greenhouse. So now rather than sprawling, they are going up. And I've weeded at the bottom. This one, not so much to tie in yet because they're not big enough. 
They're struggling a bit. But there was one to tie in. We did that bed. We did in the middle of that bed and tied up this stuff. And then did it a bit on this side. It's only just starting to get to the stage where I can tie it in. Now to tackle this greenhouse, which is getting a bit wild. But I don't know if you can see, but there are tomatoes forming. So that is great. And now I need to give it a bit more airflow. Well, I've finished pruning in the greenhouse. It might not be the correct way because some of the tomatoes, I don't know if they are bush or climbing. It's guesswork. But let me show you my progress. That's the cuttings. Well, what I pruned off. And now there's a lot more air in here. You can see through, you can see to the ground. The tomatoes on this side, those are Roma, I know those are bush. The only, I've only cut the very low uh, stems so they don't touch the ground. And the ones behind, I don't think they're a climber. I think they're some sort of a small bush type, but oh well, I guess they were mislabeled. Let me show you my cucumbers. These were the three that I cut off of the uh, greenhouse spine. They look lovely. Now I do have uh, at least one cucumber by the herb bed here. I've got a couple in another bed down there. So I've got them dotted around. As I thought, the ones in the greenhouse are producing first. But uh, yeah, not bad. Right, time is ticking on. I need to do a quick harvest of raspberries and tayberries. Well, I did one a few days ago. And then I need to get home, because I'm running out of time. Yes, there are some gooseberries here, but they're not quite ripe. So I'm going to take the um, risk of not picking them today and waiting until Monday. I've got to get home now. I've got a dish of tayberries and a dish of raspberries. So I'm happy with that harvest. So I'm sat here in my garden and I need to start planting up all the bits and pieces I've brought. And let me show you one of my rescues that has gone well. This is the rhododendron that I got for, I don't know, something like 40p. And it looked really brown leaves, really dry, almost dead. But I scratched the stem and it was still green. And this is what it looks like now. A lot happier in flower. So not bad, reduced from something like 10 pounds. 